Hey, it's time for our Tuesday e-blast. Glad you just joined me for just a few minutes here. One, praise God. I pray that they find you safe and well and healthy and whole and that God's uh, uh, really showing himself strong and mighty in, in your life as we go. The Sunday was awesome. Uh, for those who were there in our service, I guess we had about maybe 48 to 50 percent of our regular attendance in, which has kind of been where we're between 45 to 65 percent of our regular attendance each service and on Sunday. So, uh, uh, being July the 4th weekend, I, I kind of praise the Lord it was even that good. Still had a lot of online viewers and appreciate that. Our online viewers have been phenomenal. That's why I really continue to encourage you to take part of those live stream services if you're not going to be in the service. So let's continue to trust the Lord and believe God together. You know, I've just really kind of been praying about to where we're at as a church and how this is affecting us as a church body. You know, when fire comes and trials come, the difficulties surround us, usually one of two things take place. Uh, it either consumes us or it uh, it refines us and it purifies us. And I know there's uh, both people in both camps in our, in our church and our fellowship. Some are just being consumed. I really feel that when we come back from all this and people come back to church for regular worship, I have a feeling that maybe 10% of the folks that had been coming kind of regularly will, won't be returning. And that's been kind of a, 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 a course that I've seen over the years when we've had crisis or persecution, whether it's been through the floods and being out of the buildings for a while, those kind of things. Unfortunately, when people are not real strong in the Lord and they're not real committed to the word and to fellowship and community, then they have a tendency because there's no accountability there to, to fall out. So if you know someone like that, they're young in the Lord, they're immature. Remember, that they're, they're a part of our body and part of our family. So reach out to them. We as pastors, we're, we're always looking through the membership records and roles to, to see who that might be and try to encourage them and, and lift them up in the Lord. But it's all of our job to do that as well. So encourage one another, the Bible says. As we get closer to these last days, we know the fires of persecution uh, will fall as well. So it's really important that we uh, we pay attention to each other and look out for each other, especially though those who might be weak in their faith or immature in the Lord or haven't been saved very long. Those who are mature in the Lord... These difficult times really just bring about purification. They make us uh, seek the Lord more. They bring us to a place to, to trust the Lord more, to read the Word and get in the Word more. They bring us to a place where we realize that we're, we're lights in a darkness and we, we share more, we communicate more. It's really important that uh, you do com continue that community experience, whether it's with the online fellowship or whether it's in live fellowship. For those who you can be in live, then get back to that place. Uh, those who can't, we understand, but it's even more important for you that are just in the live service only to take take a real responsible place of, of encouraging each other, finding your brothers and sisters, checking up on each other, uh, reaching out to help people, letting us know when we can help people as a church. So uh, let's let these times be the times that are, 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 are really pushing us towards the Lord and bringing us together in the Lord Jesus Christ and, and creating more of a spirit of, uh, of community and fellowship within the body of Christ. So let's not let these things press us apart, even though we might be apart. Let them push us together. Also, great times to reach out to a lost world. A lot of people live in hopeless lives today. There is hope in Jesus Christ. We are the victors in Jesus Christ. So continue to tell others that as well. These are these are days when uh, I just don't know how long they'll continue, but we just continue to endure. The Bible says in Ephesians 5 that we should be like our Heavenly Father and walk in love. Man, these are the days to do that. These are days when it's easy to get critical, judgmental, and I'll fall into that same cynical spirit with everybody else. But let's continue to be people filled with the love of Jesus Christ and loving other people. Let's not forget what God has called us to. Love God, let people reach the world. And let's continue to do that together. Uh, be careful, the Bible says also in Ephesians 5, how you, how you walk. It says to walk as wise men, redeeming the time because the days are evil. How does it mean to redeem the time? It means to use the opportunities that God gives you to, to, to reach out to talk to someone, to pray for someone, to care for somebody. Let's do what we're doing for the glory of God in every aspect of our lives. Your pastor loves you. We're looking forward to great services Sunday. Remember, it really is important, and I know I don't have to remind most of you, but it's important to continue your faithful giving because we are continuing to be faithful in the ministries that God has called us to. So you be continue to be a part. Sunday services only right now, remember. There's no Wednesday evening meetings right now, and there's no Sunday evening meetings either at this time, and no weekly Bible studies. So we are continuing our Wednesday Word. I'll put out a link tomorrow so you can get a hold of that. Pastor Tim's going to be sharing a real powerful word this week. And those are usually about 15, 20 minutes long. These I try to keep to about five minutes. So I'm praying for you. Please pray for me as we seek God's wisdom and God's direction for our church body during this
these times. And as we pray for revival in our nation, it is so important that daily we're asking God to restore, revive, and rekindle a fire in the heart of believers so that fire pours out from their churches and from their homes and lives into the community, into the world around us. Jesus is coming. We need to be ready by serving the Lord with all our heart, all our mind, all our soul, all our strength, all our body. God loves you. I love you. Let's continue to trust the Lord together.